Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I have some more layering combinations for y'all. I told y'all, I'm gonna try to do this at least once a week. Don't hold me to it, but your girl is trying, okay? <laughs> so if you wanna know this week's layering combinations, then please continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you like this video, thumbs it up so YouTube knows you love my content, leave me a comment down below so we can get to know each other, and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Let's jump right in, y'all, because we have a lot of combinations to get through, and we're going to get through all of them, okay? <laughs> now, in this video, I don't have a routine, a shower routine for every one of them. This routine right here can pair with everything on this list today, and even some fragrances that you have in your collection that's spicy, gourmand, or what have you. So, the first thing is the Body Wash by Tree Hut. Now, I will say that this is limited edition but you can probably still get it if i can link it i will link it so check my description box um if you're ever in an ulta or a target try to see if you can get it cinnamon dolce y'all it is amazing it's a little spicy if you love the scent of cinnamon i love cinnamon y'all and then you have that dolce or dolce de leche caramel type feel it is so yummy it is really really good and it's very potent so i feel like you're gonna get your money's worth because this is one of the body washes from Tree Hut that you can actually smell in the shower. And also the body scrub. This is what it looks like. Now, I told y'all before, sometimes with me, Tree Hut products can be hit or miss. Sometimes they say one thing and don't smell like it. Or it may smell like it, but it's super duper faint. This is very potent. It's very loud. It's gourmand. It's yummy. It is everything. So cinnamon dolce can pair with all of these and other things that you have in your collection as well. So let's jump right in, y'all. Ashley Jones. I hope you're watching Ashley. Ashley, are you out there? Y'all, so Ashley Jones is one of my subscribers. And in my last layering video, she gave me a recommendation for me to try... She said that she layers the whole pistachio line from the pistache brand with Love Extreme. No, I think she said Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. So I was like, okay, say less. But I was perplexed because I was like, why does that sound so familiar? What she said was, I layer the whole pistachio range with Love Don't Be Shy. It's a pistachio gourmand goodness. So that made me like had to dig into the crates because I'm like, hold up. I've never done this routine. I've never heard of this routine. But why does it sound so familiar? Y'all, Ashley then gave me a dessert, a dessert that I've made before. And I actually made it that night when I did my video because I'm like, now I'm craving this. Now I want pistachio and marshmallows. So I went down with the um, Boom Boom Body Oil, the Fermeza Oil by Sol de Janeiro. Y'all know it's like a caramel pistachio i mean it's super potent super fragrant i love this even more than the body cream this actually smells just like the shower gel to me which i love the shower gel it just smells amazing y'all it's loud it's prominent i love the oil it melts into your skin it's hydrating moisturizing all the things right so i did that first and then of course i used my pistache body butter which smells like pistachio ice cream it is so realistic I'm obsessed. I have a backup bottle and I feel like I want to get another backup bottle because you can wear this all year round. I was wearing this in the winter, spring, summer, and the fall. It is amazing. Well, not the winter because I got this in the spring, but I will be wearing it in the winter, spring, summer, and the fall. And then, of course, I use the body spray. Now, let me tell you about this fragrance mist. This isn't your regular degular fragrance mist. Like This is super powerful. It's super strong. It is so potent and it lasts on the skin. Like this is damn near a fragrance in my opinion. I feel like that's why they put it in this little bottle because it is super potent y'all and very, very loud in scent. So if you love the scent of pistachio, you need this. So that was my base. And then of course I did the Yum Pistachio. I don't think she mentioned the Yum Pistachio, but I was like, let me just go in ahead and put the Yum Pistachio. So I did the Yum Pistachio and the Killian's um, Love Extreme. I didn't do Love Don't Be Shy, only because I just have a little bit of that left. And that one kind of stains my clothes sometimes. And it's super duper sweet and uh, cloying. This one is a little bit fresher to me. And I feel like, like this one is my favorite. I love Love Extreme more than Love Don't Be Shy. 
So y'all, this right here, amazing, okay? But because it reminded me of the dessert, I had to add the cherry on top. And y'all already know the cherry is Cherry Ambition by The Seven Virtues. So this right here is your marshmallow, pistachio, cherry on top dessert. If you guys know that dessert, please leave it in the comments below. If you don't know, I'm gonna tell y'all. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw me post it that night that I posted that video. Y'all, it's called pistachio fluff. Some people call it the pistachio salad or the Watergate salad. They call it different names, but it's basically jello pudding, but the pistachio flavor, um, Cool Whip, some pistachios, some pecans, some marshmallows and pineapple chunks with a little bit of pineapple juice. That's it, that's all. It is so delicious. It's something that you can put on top of like, if you bake a cake or a cupcake, you can put it on the top of it. You can eat it by itself. It is so sweet and just decadent and that is what I was smelling like. Okay, so Ashley, are you gonna pay for my uh, my gym membership at Orange Theory? Like, girl, you got me making desserts on a Tuesday, like in the middle of the week. Like, girl, listen, y'all, it was so good. So if you have these two and the cherry on top, just add the cherry, just add a little bit of the cherry, a splash of the cherry, y'all, and get your whole life. This is so delicious. So thank you, Ashley, for this combination. Okay guys, so the next combination is featuring the pistachio products again. So the pistachio body cream, the pistachio uh, fragrance mist, and this one is a little simpler. This one is Bond Number no. 9 Tribeca with a splash of Yum Pistachio by Kayali. First of all, look at the dent in the Yum Pistachio, y'all. Like literally, I need to open my next bottle. I have another bottle. Thank you, Mona, because I got a backup, y'all because this is beautiful. Like I'm obsessed with this scent. I didn't realize I was gonna love it this much. When I got it, I loved it. I thought it was a really nice fragrance, but the longer it sat, the longer I realized that I needed this in my collection, the more I'm obsessed with it. And it's one of my favorite Kaylee fragrances. It's definitely like top three. This one, Eden Juicy Apple, and sometimes I teeter back and forth between Vanilla 28 and Vanilla Oud because, you know, I can do different things with them. But these are like my favorite Kaylee fragrances. Now, just add a little pistachio to the hazelnut and I mean, need I say more? Like, this is beautiful. This is also good. The Tribeca is also good with Ambrosia Imperial. I got this layering combination from... Chi Chi, lavishly Chi Chi here on YouTube when she reviewed Ambrosia. She did a layering combination featuring Tribeca and Ambrosia Imperial. And I always do that now and it's beautiful. Not every time I wear the fragrance, but I do love layering the two. But y'all, Tribeca and Pistachio, it is beautiful. It's basically like a pistachio, hazelnut, cacao dream. It smells so good. It definitely smells like a dessert. It smells edible and I love it. So Tribeca and Yum Pistachio by Kaylee. Okay guys, so this next combination, it's not necessarily a layering combination. I'm definitely gonna show y'all the oil and the body creams that I used. If I can link one, I will, but I feel like one is out of stock. But if you guys have this in your collection, then please reach for it. So the first thing I did is go down with the Molten Brown Body Oil. And this oil is orange and bergamot. And that is exactly what it smells like. It smells like a citrus oil. And when I tell you, I can kick myself for not buying two of these because I don't think this is available anymore. I got this from the Molten Brown Outlet in Woodbury and I'm hoping they have more. I'm gonna go back, like once we go back during the Christmas season, I'm gonna go back and hope that they have it because this just pairs with everything all the time. I wasn't expecting to be pairing this with the routine in the fall because I'm like, okay, this is like a spring summer type of oil. But y'all, if you have fragrances, fall and winter fragrances that are citrus heavy or that have citruses in the opening, this is perfect. It is so good. And like I said, it smells just like orange and bergamot. Y'all, this is everything. I love it so much. Like I'm trying to nurse this bottle because it's just too good, okay? So I went down with this oil. And then, so here's where it gets tricky. <laughs> because if you have this, then go on ahead and use it. But if you don't have it, 
I'm sure it'll probably come back. So this is by Bath and Body Works and it's the Ice Lemon Pound Cake Set. So I have the body cream and also the body spray. When this came out, y'all, I got backups of this because this is just too good, okay? Like it definitely smells like an iced lemon pound cake. It does the name justice. That's what it smells like and I love it, okay? And it's so crazy because it's another one that could be worn in the spring and summer and also in the fall and winter. Cause I was wearing this in the spring, summer and now I'm wearing it in the fall and I will be wearing it in the winter. It's really, really good. Now, if this is not available and you can't get it, then maybe you could try to find this one. If I can link it, I'll link it. This is by Philosophy and it's the Lemon Custard Body Cream. <sighs> Do y'all see where I'm going with this? Y'all probably know what's coming up next. But yeah, y'all, if y'all can find this in a TJ Maxx, in a Marshalls or wherever, get it, okay? If I can link it, I'm gonna try to link it. But just so you know, guys, it's not both of the body creams together. You can do this, the ice lemon pound cake with the body spray, or you can do the lemon custard along with the ice lemon pound cake body spray if you have it. And if you don't have it, you can just do this. So, the fragrance that I layered that with is, of course, Dolce Devotion. <sighs> I mean, what more can I say, y'all? This is so beautiful. Now, if you're someone that wants to smell the lemon and the pound cake and the dessert vibes of this fragrance, whew, it is so good, um, then you can do that routine. If not, then you can always layer with something like the EOS body cream. This has vanilla and caramel, so this pairs with it as well. But I just wanted to bring out that lemon, orange blossom dessert type of scent. Y'all, I'm obsessed. I love how this smells. This smells so damn good. So now the obvious thing, like I can definitely say, you know, layer it with Lyra because they're the same vibe, but Lyra is going to give you a little bit more thickness and more richness than devotion so you can definitely pair the two but i felt like it was so obvious that i didn't want to like put it in the video but i'm still putting it in the video but you can do lyra on its own with that combination or you can do dolce devotion on its own with the combination or y'all could just do them all together okay just make it a whole happy family and it's still really pretty but if you want to you can if not you don't have to but i just love that lemony custardy a cookie dessert type scent in this fragrance it is so good and just with that combination when i tell you it lasts forever on the skin it's not going anywhere okay so again iced lemon pound cake if you can get it if you have it if not try to do it with the lemon custard if you can find it if i can link it i will link okay, it guys so this next routine proceed with caution because this one almost got me devoured all right like y'all was about to not see me on youtube anymore because your girl got devoured <laughs> y'all this is so sexy okay so i started with the 24 moisture body lotion by eos the vanilla cashmere it's vanilla and caramel it smells incredible it is a beautiful prominent sweet sexy body cream that's so affordable that you can get it target walmart i will link it but it's not hard to find and it is always in stock thank god because this is incredible okay so i did that i guess i'll show you this part i was going to show you this part last but i'll show you next so the body oil that i used is the madagascar vanilla um perfume oil by nest and i just put this all over my pulse points i put it on my neck i did it behind my knees on my legs like you can put it wherever you want to put it so imagine that like you can literally just keep it pushing with that but y'all i went down with Every time, y'all, Giardini di Toscana, and this is Bianco Latte. This was sent to me by the brand, and OMG. OMG, this is so good. It's so yummy, but it's like a gourmand, guys, But and it has caramel and tonka, but it's so grown and sexy. It's a grown and sexy gourmand. Like, honestly, I wouldn't suggest this for everyone. Like, if you like pretty frou-frou lala type of scents, this one i would say is maybe i wouldn't recommend it i'm not gonna say you wouldn't like it but i wouldn't recommend it because you're probably thinking it smells one way because you hear caramel and gourmand but it has tonka it also let me see if i can find all the notes okay so it opens up a caramel but the thing is it has a lot of um coumarin so it's spicy 
Then there's honey and honey, you know, could be real funny with some people. There's vanilla and there's also white musk. So for me, like those notes are perfect because it's giving like sweet, sexy gourmand, but grown and sexy. So, ooh, it is, what? But it's still not a safe blind buy, if that makes any sense. But I absolutely love it, okay? It is so sexy. Now, I could have just did this and kept it pushing. I don't always layer this fragrance. You don't always have to layer every fragrance, but sometimes it's fun to get like a different vibe. So the cherry on top of this, and no, it's not Cherry Ambition. <laughs> it's Black Opium Le Parfum by YSL. This is your vanilla, <sighs> vanilla bomb, okay? I mean, there's more notes in here, but y'all, it's the vanilla bomb. And I have to spray this on top because I just need to be reminded of this beautiful scent. Oh my good, what? Y'all, it's such a, it's so beautiful. And then this has like, I told y'all before, it has like a nuttiness in the background to me. It's a vanilla scent, but it's not just a linear vanilla scent. There's so many layers to uh, Black Opium Le Parfum. This right here is a gem. I'm obsessed with this fragrance. It pairs well with other fragrances, but you can also wear it on its own. It's so beautiful. And paired together with this, y'all, it is so sexy, so yummy. Like I told y'all, I almost got devoured. So Bianco Latte and YSL's Le Parfum. Okay guys, so the next routine features What About Pop by the House of Oud. <sighs> y'all, I mean, it's the popcorn for me. Like it's so yummy. It's the popcorn, it's the caramel. It literally smells like charred, like toasted popcorn with caramel drizzle. I love this so much. It's not for everybody, y'all, but it's so good. It is so yummy. Now, with this fragrance, you don't necessarily have to layer it with other fragrances because there's a lot going on with this. Like I told y'all, it's like chard, there's popcorn, there's caramel, there's jasmine, there's musk, vetiver, ambergris, a lot going on with this one right here. So what I layer this one with and I'm hoping that y'all have this in y'all collection or at least that you can find it. But if not, I'm gonna give you another alternative. So what I did was I used Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin Body Cream by Bath & Body Works. Now, I'm not sure if this is in stock or in season this year, cause these things go in and out of season. It may come back. I'm not like, I don't know the ins and outs of Bath & Body Works. I just know sometimes I love something and I talk about it and it's not there anymore for me to link it or anything. So I've had this and I love it. It pairs beautifully with it. So if you have sweet cinnamon pumpkin, pair it with this. And then the body spray that I used was pumpkin pecan waffles. If you have the cream, use the cream as well. But another alternative with this, and this is in stock cause I can link this. This is by Hemp's and it's the buttercream birthday cake. This is a body cream that can go with a lot of your other fragrances, a lot of the routines that we spoke about today. You can definitely do this one with it, but it pairs beautifully with What About Pop. Now, as a body spray, just to add a little bit of, cause sometimes I feel like I need two sprays. Like I need to spray something else other than my fragrance. The Charosa 71, like this kind of gives off a more charred, a more toasted version of What About Pop. So these pair beautifully together. You can do this on its own with like an unscented cream. Like if you have a body cream like a Eucerin or a Nivea or something like that, you just spray this all over your body. So it's kind of like you're creating your own scented body cream and then you spray this on top and get your whole life. So what about pop with Charosa 71 buttercream birthday cake? And if not, and you guys have a stash or arsenal, then pumpkin pecan waffles, you can do this with the body cream. Or if you have sweet cinnamon pumpkin, this pairs with this as well. Okay guys, so this next routine is for my girlies that love a beast mode, smell me before you see me, gourmand experience. Y'all wanna put y'all clothes in a hamper, and then even days after y'all like left the clothes in the hamper, you are still smelling this scent? This is the routine for you. So the first thing I went down with is bond number nine, my New York body cream. I told y'all so many times before, the body creams from Bond are top tier. It is 
amazing. I love the consistency. It is a beautiful experience to put this on because I love amazing like luxury experiences. And this is definitely giving you a luxury experience. I just want to show y'all something real quick. I want to show y'all how quickly it just melts into the skin. Do y'all see how much that is? Look at this. Do you see that? It's gone. It literally just melts into the skin. So it's top tier for me, y'all. It leaves your skin feeling so silky. First of all, they don't call these body creams. They call these body silks. And I see why. Because it literally leaves your skin feeling so silky. The scent, oh my goodness. Okay, so the fragrances that I layered with this uh, body cream, this body silk here. I went down with the corresponding fragrance, of course, and that's My New York by Bond Number no. 9. It's white floral and it has coffee and caramel, but honestly, it kind of smells a little bit like a banana. Not like Ambrosia Imperial, but it definitely gives like a little banana vibe to me. So, of course, I layered the two. And when I tell you the compliments, the beast modification of it all, like y'all, this was not going anywhere until I had to wash my clothes. I was smelling this in the hamper for days, okay? This is so, so, so good. Incredible, yummy, gourmand, beast mode. Smell me before you see me. Smell me after I done left. Siage, like everything about this combination just works, okay? And I feel like it has to do with the base because this is super potent. There's some Bond creams. I've tried a couple that were, you know, kind of like hit or miss with the scent. But this one right here, the My New York, amazing. Okay, so My New York with the fragrance and also Ambrosia Imperial. Okay, guys, so the next and final routine is going to be my Thanksgiving scent of the night. Now, I told you guys that I'm hosting and I'm very excited about that. Um, and the time you're seeing this video, Thanksgiving will be over, but I wanted to share with y'all my scent. So I'm not sure about my body cream just yet, cause I feel like I may do the bond number nine cream. I may do this. I might do this. I think I'm going to do this one as my base, but I mean, I can take it so many different places with this. So, and I'm not sure how I'm going to layer them, but I know that these three fragrances are are going to be worn on Thanksgiving by your girl. Okay, so the first one, of course, is Ambrosia Imperial. I'm definitely gonna wear my fragrance on Thanksgiving. And the next fragrance is Killian's Angel Share. I told y'all, it doesn't matter what the fragrance combination is. Angel Share, like she's inducted in the Thanksgiving Hall of Fame. Like it is what it is. Like it's no Thanksgiving without Angel Share. <laughs> so she's definitely gonna get worn. And the cherry on top, y'all, is Cherry Ambition by the Seven Virtues. This combination right here, I already know I'm gonna get my whole entire life. I already know I'm be getting compliments. I already know I'm gonna be smelling better than everybody up in the living room, point blank, period. <laughs> Y'all, this is so good. I smelled them and I tested them on my hand, but I don't know, like I said, how I'm gonna, you know, which one I'm gonna lay it first and all. I don't know about all that, but I just know that these three are going to get worn. So try this if you have it. Ambrosia Imperial, Angel Share, and Cherry Ambition. All right, guys, we made it to the end of the video. Leave it in the comments below and let me know what are some routines that I need to try because if I have the fragrances in my collection, I am definitely gonna try them. So let's talk about it below like we always do. Remember to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI The Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.